Spirit, spirit. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Oh, baby spirit. That, you got a gigantic head, but you're so cute. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. And we are gonna be playing The Sims 3 Pets, but with horses, because I thought it'd be a perfect idea to prepare myself mentally, physically, emotionally, before the horse ranch pack comes out in The Sims 4 in three days. Because one, I didn't play all of The Sims 3 growing up, especially with pets and horses. And two, I wanna experience open world again. I wanna experience the potato looking Sims and just overall drama that I usually create in The Sims 2 and The Sims 4, but in The Sims 3. So today we're gonna play with my Sim current household, Danny Baldwin with their newfound adopted horse, Bob, who is a girl. I don't know the breed. So if you're a horse person, let me know the breed of the horse because that would be really, really great. Now, Danny Baldwin is one of the best Sims in the world because I love her so much because we live in Appaloosa Plains, which is the world that came with the Sims 3 pets. And I didn't appreciate it back then when it first came out because it was open world and it was just so weird. And I learned a lot of what it's like to have like a horse and like work on their skills and their friendship and the competitions that Danny might be a sim that I might play with for a very long time depending on my mood and just my overall experience with The Sims 3 again. Now, Danny Baldwin is super cute and Bob over here is a wonderful horse. Now, if you're a horse person and you know all about horses and you know all the breeds in the world, tell me in the comments below. But she is fast and is also a neat horse and got trained to have more agility. So we are learning our jumping skill more faster than the average horse. And we have level four in jumping and level five in racing. And I really wanna work a lot more on like our riding skill and our racing and jumping skill because apparently at the equestrian center over here, there's a competition at 12. And I wanna be able to go over there and probably join the first cross country beginner one. So I'm gonna actually take Danny and Bob over here to the training grounds so we can actually start training ourselves. Now, I don't really know if pregnant Sims can actually ride horses still, but I'm hoping that they can. And if they can't, Quincy might be the one to train Bob for the rest of his life until Danny is no longer pregnant and has the baby. My curiosity is that I'm hoping that horses in The Sims 4 are a little bit like The Sims 3, where they can ride around and do whatever they want, but they're not like just freely roaming around. Because in The Sims 3, pets specifically, more so horses, would just spawn literally anywhere and they would just run wild and they would physically be called wild horse. And sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's a, a bad thing, but I did kind of enjoy because you could like be friendly with other horses that were around town. Plus, or usually like around nighttime, like I think, I think maybe like midnight, like 5 a.m., we would have unicorns that would spawn in The Sims 3. And I thought they were so cool because you could like befriend the unicorns. You could also get magical powers from them, which I thought was the most wildest thing in the world, but was the best thing in the world. I really don't know how long or how often it takes them to really gain a skill. I've been mainly working a lot on their jockey training and basic training. That way they can kind of improve their skills a little bit faster. I would hope that Danny gets level seven in their riding skill one day, and then Bob gets at least level six in racing. Cause right now we only have one trophy from a championship that we won and the rest of them were just basic money that we usually get. And the training competition is supposed to be at noon. And I forgot how unique Appaloosa Plains is. We live over here. We actually used to live over on this big gigantic lot. And I find that a lot of people who play The Sims 3 Pets for the first time or just in general always tend to go towards this lot specifically because it's a big lot. You have a lake. You have like this little this big backyard over here, the side part, the side part over here. So much potential. And like even next to it is the park. And the park is even bigger. You have all this hay and it's like the best like location ever, especially like you're near like the vicinity of like where you need to go if you have a horse. Now it is currently fall time and I believe the festival is supposed to happen very soon in the next couple of days. I just don't know when. Oh, I thought that was a cat. That's a dog. Who are you? Walter Blackburn and then you're Ginger Blackburn. Are you a Chow Chow? I think you're like a, like you're a Chow Chow type of breed, but you're cute. Oh, Danny. Oh, Danny B. Bob is calling your name. 
uh, Kurtz or Cruz, can you leave me alone? I must learn more about Bob. Bob is my ride or die. Literally, my ride or die. I ride my horse until the day I die. Look at this. That's so cute. That is a realistic horse. I would love to know in the comments below if you've ever played The Sims 3 Pets because I personally find that everyone has at least played The Sims at one point in their life, but also have probably played The Sims 3 Pets because it's pets. Horses, unicorns, cats, dogs, birds. Like they have so many animals that I think are so cool looking that I love so much. I've had the idea of going to the equestrian center lately to like breed our horse to get like another horse or at least buy another one so we can train even more and get more competitions because we have an aspiration of becoming a jockey and we have to earn at least 40,000 simoleons to complete our aspiration. And it's all through like the competitions and we also have to like complete the riding skills level 10. So if we get another horse, that might help us, but it also might hurt us too. I'm a little bit nervous because we do have a good riding skill and jumping skill, and this might also increase our skills a little bit further. At least I'm hoping it will, because we have already done the racing and jumping, but we have like a little want here to do the cross country as a beginner level, which I think we just might do. So Bob might win since Bob does have a really good jumping and racing skill. So I'm really crossing my fingers that we do win. Wait, Bob feels the need, the need for speed. You are not Lightning McQueen. Not yet though. But I find like this so cool. Like the animations of horses in The Sims 3, I found very fascinating because they were so lifelike. Okay, it's time. Ooh, okay, the Bromberg hunting course. Beginner cross country competition. I love the UI of this. It's actually pretty nice and woodsy. We can still do other things while we're here. But right now we're in 12th place. I really want to be first place already as a steady pace. What if we just stay right here? What if I just stay like right here? I'll be in first place. What if I win? 500 some bowlings and we won first place. Oh, that's so good. We can do as many as we can, I'm hoping. So does that mean we have a little trophy in our inventory? We do. Okay, the J Black Cross Country Cup. Oh, that's so cool looking. Well, maybe we'll be able to do another one. I do want to attend. And we'll actually do one more competition before it ends. It's like 2, 3 p.m. We'll do a racing one advanced because technically we do have a good riding skill and we're doing a, well, a racing competition. Bob has a level five. And I feel like advanced is okay. We'll get to level six pretty easily. So we'll do this one. I'm hoping that we'll win at least. Ooh, I'm nervous. I'm scared. Okay, we're in third place. Third place. Bob, Bella, and Basley. Okay, what if we take a risk? Take a risk. We might get a little bit higher. Third place, third place, third place, third place. Go for the broke. I'm scared. I've never won any of these, like, competitions, but I always find them second place. Go for the broke. Bob, you can do it. Take Talon down. Take Grace down. First place. Oh, that's okay. We got second place. 950 simoleons. That's good enough for me. Second place. That's not bad. We can always do better. It is only 5 p.m. and they tend to last only for five hours at a time. So it's not too bad. Wait, we can breed our horse now? Wait, okay. What if we breed Bob? Okay, let's go breed Bob. Bob? You're pre be prepared to have a baby. I'm actually kind of excited because we have a baby and then Bob has a baby. So breed the horse, but we have to have like a good horse to breed with. So we have the top quality horses in the world. Okay, breaker, breaker, breaker 190. I don't think so. Lazy, hates jumping and clueless. No me gusta. Um, okay, you seem good, playful, neat, and brave. Oh, you look crazy. Obedient, aggressive, and quiet, no. Orny, neat, and friendly, maybe. I mean, Cascade seems great. We'll go with Cascade. Like the brand for your dishwasher, Cascade. Platinum, yes, I am sure. Okay, so now that we're pregnant, Bob is pregnant, and also we are pregnant too. Well, while we're here, I do want to actually do some harvesting because when I first played the save file for like this current household, I really wanted to like do that nectar making. And I believe the nectar making item we have to get from by the bug. So what if I type in by the bug? Now, where is the thing at? I know, it oh, it's right here. The nectar making machine. 
What is it called? Le L'Amour des Fruit Nectar Maker 1500 simoleons. That's not that bad to be honest. So if we take all of our fruit from our little garden here, we'll be able to squash it in here and get our wine ready. So I think if we take our apples in here, if we place ingredients for or add fruit, we should be okay. So we need at least 10 pieces of fruit of any kind to start. Oh, what's happening? Oh, it's Patch's birthday. Oh my gosh, it's our dog's birthday. Well, never a dull day in the Baldwin Miller household, is it? At least you're not an elder. Oh my gosh, you're gigantic. You're so cute. That dog looks like a human. Look at those eyes. Those are human eyes. Oh my gosh. The sad part though, Mozart is already an adult and has nine days left until they're an elder, which is not what I'm looking for. Quincy has a couple of days left, three days until he's an elder. And then Danny won't age for a long time because I don't think as you're pregnant, you don't age in The Sims 3, which honestly I ain't mad about. So we pretty much Gucci at this point. Okay, let's go over here, add the fruit to the little nectar maker over here so we can start squashing up some stuff. We need at least 10, so we'll put all of our apples in here and we should be okay. But I like how simple it is because personally when you're making nectar in The Sims 3, you just need 10 pieces of fruit and then you're pretty much good to go to start like squashing it or automatically make your nectar, which you should not do. So we're gonna squash it and hopefully it'll turn out in good quality. This is pretty cool. Also, what is that outfit, Danny? Where did you get that from? Oh my gosh, Lordy Lou, and it's raining too. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, and poor Bob. Bob is outside of sleep. Gallop around, mark as your favorite sleep spot. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, this is so cool, enter in here. Bob, please enter into your little stable and then you can like sleep in here. Yeah, take a little nap. Oh, Danny, you're not done. We're gonna have to go make the, the little nectar from the basic level. I know it's raining outside, but that does not make an excuse. Outside, there we go, Danny. It's no longer raining. Make the nectar. There we go, make the basic nectar. You're no longer hungry. I cheated your needs. I'm telling you, I will always try my darn best to make my Sims happy, but if they're like not cooperating, I will cheat their needs. So what do we get out of that? Oh, so okay, there is a nectar making skill. Your sim has learned the nectar making skill. Nectar making is an art that has been passed down through generations. Great nectar can only be made from the best fruits. Oh, okay. So now that we have a nectar making skill, we have the opportunity to go to our little skill panel and skill journal and see how many bottles of nectar we've already made, which is three. We've made one different combination. We've squashed fruits two times and have made and have used 10 pieces of nectar but i always found the skill journal in the sims 3 so fascinating because it was so detailed like it tells you what the skill is your it tells your stats what challenges you could do in order to complete the skill with a full thing like master of nectar making after making 200 bottles of nectar you'll make more bottles per batch which that would be so cool to do like i love that stuff Flavorful feet after squashing 40 batches of fruit, nectar made by you will be worth more. And we've already done 10. So basically 30 more, we get this one and it, it will make us so much more money. Half the time though, when it comes to like nectar making, I find it's always like bad quality or good quality. You never really know what you get out of it until like you, you fully see it. Okay, what kind of quality is our nectar? So it looks like that we have bad quality nectar for eight simoleons. It's only like, it's not that expensive. If we sell it now, it's like eight simoleons. That's so kind of terrible. Now, Quincy has not really a lot of going for him right now. He is a mess hall server at level two of the military career. And I personally want him to rekindle some friendship with his daughter. Because right now, um, his daughter, they don't really get along that much. His ex-wife, they hate each other a lot. So basically right now, where they live, they live across town. They live up here over on this lot. And I think their house is like pretty spacious compared to like what they used to live in. It looks like there's a second floor, but there also looks like there isn't. So let's do some hanging lights for, for them. Oh, that's cute. That's a really nice color on their wall. 
or I guess in their roof, technically. So it's been a couple hours and I actually had Bob do some training in their racing skill and they now have level seven. And I thought we actually go down to the equestrian center to do one last competition. And hopefully we actually can win this one in the advanced section. If we can't, all hope is lost. But then again, Bob is pregnant and Danny is also pregnant as well. So this might lead to some good things or some bad things that I honestly do not know. Enter horse training. Ooh. Oh wait, we have to bring our horse in. Okay, what if we what if we lead? I lead Bob into the equestrian center? Yes. So what if we do the racing advanced? And then maybe we can try the international racing competition because essentially since we now have level seven in racing and a few extra skills we have a better opportunity of actually entering into the international one so hopefully that will work maybe we'll win maybe we'll win okay advanced racing competition has commenced i really hope we do win bob is pregnant and we're pregnant too the fact that we're on the horse while pregnant and bob's pregnant too kind of crazy but also kind of cool at the same time though first place already no way okay we doing we doing great okay we're just gonna stay steady speed three all the way speed three no one can beat it's not even grace not even emma not even digit not even no, no one me and danny and bob we are the legends we are the champions and we just took a nice steady pace we were walking Everybody was lollygagging. That's right, no one can beat us. That's right, that's right, 1,400 simoleons in our name. Bob, ridden by Danny Baldwin, has placed first in the Blue Water Derby. In addition to the prize money, Danny Baldwin has received the trophy and the uh, adoration of the crowd. Ooh, okay, that's not that bad. How did I not know horses have lifetime reward things? This makes my life so much easier. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. The baby's coming. Make sure Denny is home or in the hospital so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. <gasps> hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute. Bob is still pregnant. So maybe we give birth first and then Bob has their baby. Oh my gosh, let's go to the hospital right now. Also, Quincy, your um special friend is giving birth to your baby. Why are you not going to the hospital? I guess when she gets there, he'll go. Now, now, sir. Whoa, whoa, I missed everything. What's happening? I can't go over here. Wait, Bob just gave birth to a foal. What would you like to name him? It's a baby boy. What if I name it Spirit? I'll name it Spirit. Spear it. Spirit, the baby fell. I love Spirit so much. Okay, we're waiting. Animation, let's go. I wanna see, where will they be? Where will we spirit? Spirit, spirit. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Oh, baby spirit. That, you got a gigantic head, but you're so cute. Our first little baby. So these magically appear out of nowhere, which makes sense. But that's so cute now. Baby spirit's all grown up into a new baby. Like, look at, look, look at spirit. Spirit looks wonderful. Love you. So what traits did you get? So Spirit is neat, playful, and untrained. But your horse requires more relationship to saddle to ride them. Oh, so we have an untrained but neat and playful horse. I see you got those traits from your father, not from your mother at all. Actually, both Bob and Cascade, I think they both had neat traits. So maybe we got the neat trait from both parents, but you got the playful one from your father and then untrained just from being a baby. That ain't half bad. But we have a new foul. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Something that I forgot that was in The Sims 3 was this teleportation device from The Sims 3 Supernatural. And I was like, what is this contraption? I've never seen this before. And somehow we just magically teleport to the other side of town. That's crazy. Imagine, who would have thought? But now we're finally at the hospital to be with the mother so she can give birth. What are you wearing? Who are you? Okay. This is a nice hospital though. We have a baby girl. Danny's pregnancy went well and she had the baby made it through smoothly. The baby was born with a good trait and we can choose second trait. Oh, that's good. Well, I shall name you 
Giselle. Giselle, the baby girl. And we can choose another trait for you, which I will definitely be choosing brave. Good and brave for Giselle. Oh, we had a baby and a baby fowl all on the same day. Who would have thought that baby is contemplating life? But that is so cute. Look at us. That's so adorable. Look at that baby. It's so human with no soul. Look at the eyes. Scary. But that's so nice. Danny Baldwin just captured the memory of having a baby. Parenthood is a monumentous occasion that all Sims should experience. And so did Quincy. But the thing is here, Quincy now has two kids by two different people. Macy is his first daughter and Giselle is his second daughter. Somehow Macy has never knew commitment issues in the slob traits. Her mother is uh, Jacquez Miller, athletic, friendly, vegetarian, family oriented, and neat. Shopping music DJ. Interesting. That is just so, so stinking cool. I love The Sims 3. Every time I play this game, I always find what I love and what I'm like hoping for for the future or like what could be changed, even though there's no way and chance I'll ever change this game. But I just find The Sims 3 so fascinating that every time I come back to this I'm always blown away like this teleportation device insane crazy and I'm just like how uh-uh no you did you did not just put your baby on the floor in the pouring rain to throw up ma'am Danny pick up your child pick up Giselle pick up Giselle pick her up and we're going to travel with this thing You can't travel with your baby? Are you serious? Ain't no way. There ain't no way. Pick up your child. It is literally raining so hard outside. It's hailing. We're going home. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's right. Take your child with you. Man thought, I'm going to leave my child out in the pouring rain like there's no other. You could have taken your child the whole time, Danny. Messy. Messy. What? This is also why I don't play The Sims 3. Because Sims in The Sims 3, after they literally have a baby or just at any point, will literally leave their child outside in the rain, the snow, whatever it is. They'll leave their children unattended by themselves. Like just the other day, I was playing The Sims 3 and my Sim had a vampire best friend and their best friend had a baby who was also a vampire, but left their child outside at the bottom of their apartment complex with nobody to help them. And I'm just like, this cannot be real. This cannot be real. I do want to actually change this a little bit. I want to change the colors to be fitting for like the room. Maybe like a little tan could be good. Yeah, I think like a tan. Or like an orangey. Like an orange could be good. We're gonna change this to like a, like a light pink and we'll also change this bedding right here to fit that color. That looks really cute because the walls are technically white. The floor is definitely pink, like rose pink, but I kind of want to have like the mix, mix match of both. So I'll save it for next time. But I kind of like that we have a color wheel and we can do the same on this side. So actually, you know what? I'm going to copy and pasta the colors from over the, from the crib to the changing table. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have that and we're going to change the bottom part, which if we can, we're going to change that color to this color. There we go. That is perfect. That is cute. I'm in love with The Sims 3, but the carpet got to go. I'm not a big fan of carpet in The Sims at all. It's called flammable and I ain't for that fire life. I was never part of that life ever. At least we have firefighters in The Sims 3. So if there was a fire, they could take it out and then we all will be right in the world. But for now, mm -mm, mm -mm, ain't doing that. So with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever played with The Sims 3 horses or just in general, because I personally am very excited to play with The Sims 4 horse range when it comes out and learn a little bit more about the horses, what they have to offer. And just overall in general, I just... I'm just really curious. But lo and behold, I love The Sims 3. I want to play more of it definitely on this channel and I cannot wait to share more of my experience down the line. But 
overall, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.